Welcome to my studio. My name is Joanna Howe and I'm running a free project during the Children's Mental Health Week. Today we're gonna paint Flamingo. It's our pink day and it's the last day in the project. We already completed six pictures which you can see on the wall. We had the blue day we painted a cow, red day when we painted a heart, a grey day when we painted an owl, a purple day when we painted a mushroom, green day for the caterpillar and a yellow day for the cupcake. So think about what pink day is for you when you're having a pink days. Are there happy days? Are there sad days? Are there days full of energy, energy and jumping around or are there days of sadness and stillness? For me, pink days are like flamingos. I just stand still and watch around. <laughs> We're gonna start with finding our pencil in my studio, which is not an easy task to do. Okay, so we're just gonna start with a shape of a head. I hope you can see that well. So that we've got a curvy shape of our head, so it's like a curvy line. We're just gonna have one, two, three strikes, and then our beak is curved as well, with a little thing on the bottom. The neck, and the head is joining to neck. Then we've got a round belly, and of course, a legs. We're gonna get one leg, and the other one leg, we're gonna have bend. We won't see the end of our legs, because they're not gonna fit on our page. We're gonna make a round eye, but that's gonna be like semicircle. And they're gonna do the petals we did in all other projects. Half open, with a black circle inside and a white circle outside, with a couple of eyelashes. This is it. Do you think something is missing? Yes, of course we can add a bit of a wing. So make a straight line there semicircle and we're joining in with a fairly bit okay so pink flamingo obviously it's gonna be pink we i use a dark pink from my major brushes i'm using the paints which you can find nearly everywhere in uk and are easy to buy and they're not too expensive so i'm hoping that everyone gonna get access to a nice pink doesn't matter if you haven't got a paint, so you can paint with something different. Uh, you can use your pens or pencils or pastels or kerons, anything, and just make a shape of a flamingo colouring. Our neck's gonna be pink as well. And a big. We can add a bit of orange. Well, first we're gonna add a white light pink. If you haven't got shades, you can always mix them up with a bit of white paint. And we can add a bit of orange into our flamingo in a few places. Imagine the sunset probably would be glistening in gold. There we go. Now, around the eye, we can do a purple. And the pupil could be a pink as well. Okay. And the rest we can do with a pants. Of course, I'm going to have a bit of splatter around in the pink. And a bit in our orange too. There we go. This is how it looks like. Our flamingo.
um, pencil, you can fill up the gaps as we did last time. We'll go around it. It's going to give you like a little glowing effect. You can add a bit of bit more pink around the eye. Okay, now with the black pen, we're gonna do our black line outline. I'm going to smudge all my today, my dots, I'm going to have a smudging windy effect on them. You can actually turn some of your dots into something else. So if you would like to have some flowers or maybe butterflies flying around, Don't forget to add some of the things on the actual flamingo too. Eyelashes. Now, if you want your flamingo to be smiley, you can pick up this big to make it smile, and it's completely gonna change his look. So it's gonna make him a bit smart, more smiley. As I said, you can turn any any of the dots you've got on a background. You can even smudge them around. You don't have to have a splatter splatter. You can have smudgy background doesn't really matter it's all yours and you can do whatever you like with this don't forget to sign it and this is it for today our lovely flamingo unfortunately this time during this project it was our last painting we completed seven little paintings, which you can do anytime you like, because they're all going to be available on my YouTube channel. You can access them as well through the links on Facebook. Well done, guys. You made it. I hope you enjoyed that. And I can't wait to see all your old artwork. Bye from my studio in GL2.